I am very excited today. I'm, I'm just gonna pour this right now. I'm not even gonna wait. So today, something really cool that I just picked up. If you're a fan of these spot Irish whiskeys like I am, this was on my list for a while before it finally showed up here. Now, Irish Distillers, the makers of Green Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey, partnered with Quailsgate Winery in Canada to introduce their third installment in the Green Spot Wine Gee series, Green Spot Quailsgate. This bottle joins Green Spot Chateau Leoville Barton and Green Spot Chateau Montalena. The series is a celebration of Ireland's historic contribution to the wine world as tribute to the group of Irish families known as the Wine Geese. Uh, they left Ireland and set up wineries all across the globe. So let's dive into it. Let's see if it could be the best Green Spot yet. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. for The Mass and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help grow the channel for 2023. Whiskey Tube family, thanks so much. You know, today I've been, I was like kind of formulating some new ideas for the double bass episodes, but I figured in between, since I just found this, let's uh, get this reviewing because I really was excited to try this one. But before we dive into the details, I have partnered with today's sponsor, Geology, to bring you guys another amazing offer. Check them out. All right, guys, I know skincare may not be at the top of your list, but I have to tell you, Geology has changed my skin entirely. I wanted to look better behind the camera and being 45 years old, trying not to look like the oldest guy on whiskey tube gets more challenging each and every day, but Geology has really helped me turn back the clock a bit. What Geology does is create simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Now products are built around just a handful of powerful proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. Now for me, I tend to get dry skin and I also have uncles and other men in my family that get circles under their eyes, which is something I really wanted to avoid. Uh, so all I did was go to their website, took their skincare quiz and got routine number 28, which includes an everyday face wash, a morning cream, a night cream, and my favorite product, the eye cream. It's not rocket science, guys. It's all laid out for you. Just follow the routine and see the results in just a few weeks. To be honest, keeping my skin looking smooth and diminishing the circles under my eyes has always been a challenge for me. By the way, Geology is a 22-time award-winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Hypebeast, Esquire, and Ask Men's Grooming Awards. Not only is Geology the best in the skincare game, but they have also released a ton of new amazing hair, body, and other skin products. So whatever you need, Geology has you covered. So if you want to look and feel better, here's how. Right now, for a limited time, Geology is hooking you guys up with an absolutely insane offer. Use my code MASHINDRUM70 or scan the QR code on the screen right now and they will give you an exclusive 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. On top of that, you can save big on the add-on products of your choice when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers you will see from Geology, so get it before it's gone. Thanks to Geology for partnering with The Mass and Drum, and thank you for making the sponsors happen. Now go get some Geology, guys, so you can look and feel your best. So Quailsgate Winery in Canada is located on the shore of Okanagan Lake in British Columbia. It was founded by the Stewart family in 1908 after Richard Stewart Sr. immigrated to Canada from Kildare Island. Now today they produce some of Canada's most popular wines, including their award-winning family reserve Pinot Noir. Now Green Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey was originally produced exclusively for the Mitchell family who began trading in 1805 in the heart of Dublin, Ireland. This limited edition expression reflects the history of the Mitchell's whiskey bonding business which started in 1887 when they sent empty wine, sherry and port casks to the local Jameson distillery to be filled with new single pot still spirit for maturation in the Mitchell's cellar warehouse. Now when you're talking about the original Green Spot Irish Whiskey, it's made up of pot still whiskeys aged between 7 to 10 years. The whiskey is matured in a combination of new bourbon and refill bourbon casks, as well as sherry casks. Green Spot Quail's Gate is also initially matured in American oak and egg sherry casks, but then it's finished for 16 months in those Quail's Gate Pinot Noir casks. This is non-chill filtered, bottled at 46% ABV or 92 proof, and it's available now in limited quantities in the US, Canada, Ireland, France, UK, and global travel retail for about 100 bucks US. So I've had a couple people tell me that this might be their favorite and the Wine Gee series from Green Spot, so we'll see. Um, Pinot Noir tends to be a little bit too delicate, you know, for me, but I don't know, we'll see what it did to Irish whiskey. I could already smell it here and it just smells like straight up pears. I'm not even, I can't even 
get my nose close and it's just pears all day long. Holy crap. It is just juicy, ripe pears all day long. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up some of the pot still spice. I'm not getting a lot of spice from this. Again, it, it just might be like that delicate Pinot Noir influence here. I'm like looking for the Pinot Noir influence, but it's really hard to get past all the, the ripe juicy pears that's in here. Just a lot of vanilla too. I mean, it's just pears and vanilla. I think the ex-bourbon casks really comes through here. Damn man, this is all stone fruit here. Apple, pears. I think I'm getting a little bit of the pot still spice now as it comes through. It's not too oaky at all. I mean, there's not a lot of oak here, maybe a touch of it. But you kind of also get a little bit of the signature, like pot still, a little bit of the pot still spice, like when you talk about a little nutmeg, maybe a hint of like a cinnamon, but there's not much of it. All right, let's give it a try. Here we go, guys, cheers. So on the palate, I do get a little pot still spice. The pear, the apple all come through. The vanilla comes through. Not getting a lot of dark red fruit here. I get some like bright fruit, maybe like a hint of like a strawberry or something like that. It, it's very stone fruit forward. I mean, you're talking about apples and pears all day long on this one. Second sip brings a little, like a little light honey to the party here, but it's very, I would say it's more vanilla than honey though. But again, like those poached pears, just kind of like cooking with like some baking spices and a little bit of uh, maybe throw some vanilla extract in there. And I feel like that's what you get on the palate of this. Again, the Pinot Noir, I think, is coming through very delicately. There's not. And when you consider that it was aged for 16 months in, you know, this Pinot Noir cask, it's got a very delicate influence to it. I gotta tell you, the one thing I'm missing from this is kind of like that pot still spice finish. There's just not a lot going on in the finish. It's extremely flavorful up front, but on the back end, it just... <whistles> I mean, I know it's only 92 proof, but I've had plenty of 92 proof, uh, you know, Irish whiskeys that still carry that pot still spice. So real quick, I want to compare it to the Chateau Leoville Barton, which I think has been my favorite. You know, between this one and the Chateau Montalena, this was my favorite of the two. So let's see if it beats out the Quail's Gate. All right, so this green spot had the same maturation as the Quail Gate, but instead of Pinot Noir cask, it was finished in French Bordeaux wine casks. So a little bit of that French oak, I believe, I'm, I'm kind of preparing to come through here a little bit more. And maybe that's why this one was my favorite so far, because maybe it has a little bit of that spice to it from the French oak. Let's try it here. Wow, the the these these two were way far apart, you know, for me, at least on the nose. Again, it's hard to break through that like poached pear note on the Quails Gate. Whereas on the Barton here, you have there's a definite more oak influence here. I get that spiciness, I get the more of the pot still here. I mean, I feel like I could smell the wine and I could smell strawberries. This is definitely more strawberry forward here. All right, let's give this one a try. Yeah, that is just strawberry shortcake in a glass. That's crazy. And a little bit more of a finish here. Now the proof, I believe is the same. Yeah, 46% ABV. This has a deeper finish. I'm not gonna say it's got this long lingering finish that completely destroys this, but it's definitely got more of the finish than the Quails Gate does. Yeah, a little bit more fruity, red fruit, red fruit, more red fruit, strawberries. That vanilla cream comes through, I think, also because you have the um, the same maturation. I think some of the sherry is playing a role in the uh, in the Barton as well. I just think there's more wine cask influence here. The wine influence isn't the make or break. For me, it's the finish. This has a great wine influence, but it, the, the, the finish on this is just gone. It's just so soft. Whereas this, I think the French oak is what's really helping it. That spice that it has that it carries, that French spice, just gives it a little bit more of an interesting palate. The Quails Gate though, for a hundred bucks, I mean, if you love Irish whiskey, if you love easy sipping, super flavorful Irish whiskeys, and I cannot stress this enough, if you like just poached pears, like in sugar and vanilla, and just pears and more pears, <laughs> then this is gonna be your Irish whiskey right here. Um, I do like it, I think it's good, but still my favorite in the lineup. I'll have to do them blind in an upcoming, uh, maybe triple base episode, we'll do all three of the, uh, the green spot finished, uh, finished whiskeys. Just going off of memory, my favorite in the lineup, 
probably still gonna go to the Barton, but the Quails Gate, if you like pears, it's gonna be your jam. All right, everybody, well, thanks for watching this episode of The Master and Drum as we took a look at the new Green Spot Quails Gate. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, let me know if you've had this one yet, what you think about it. Did you agree with my, uh, my tasting notes? Um, if you've had all three, what are your favorite, uh, or what's your favorite of the three, I should say. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers. See you next time right here on The Master and Drum. See you next week, guys. Cheers.